Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Redmi Note 11 Pro versus the Poco F3 and the Poco F3 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor with 8 GP of RAM while the Redmi Note 11 Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio G96 processor with 8 GP of RAM as well. On the back, we have triple cameras on the Poco F3 while on the Redmi Note 11 Pro, we have quad cameras. We have 48 megapixel main camera. 8 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 5 megapixel macro while on the redmi note 11 pro we have 108 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel ultra wide also we have 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and the packet is made up of glass on both phones and the frame of the poco f3 is made up of aluminium while the redmi note 11 pro has a plastic frame both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side and the frame of the redmi note 11 pro is completely flat which gives a more premium feel over the poco f3 Although the Poco F3 it feels a little more heavier, I think because of the aluminium frame on the bottom, but does not have any headphone jack on both these devices. And the headphone jack it is only available on the Redmi Note 11 Pro on the top, and you can see. And both phones also has a dual speaker. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how is the Redmi Note 11 Pro with the MediaTek Helio G96 is stacked up against the Poco F3 with the Snapdragon 870 processor. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. And guys now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time let's see who is going to be the fastest one here we go logos came up first on the poco as compared to the redmi also we have android 11 on both phones we have miui version 12.5 versus a miui version 13 no android 12 on the redmi note 11 pro right out of the box let's see who is going to be the fastest one and the Poco F3 is more faster when it comes to booting up and you can see and the Redmi Note 11 Pro also right behind there about one or two second difference there between these two devices when it comes to booting up and guys now let's talk about the displays between these two devices on the Redmi Note 11 Pro we have 6.67 inch Full HD plus the Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Poco F3 we have 6.67 inch Full HD plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate on the front, we also have a Corning Gorilla Glass version 5 on both phones. Both phones also has a punch hole on the center, which is also very similar on both phones. And the bezels around the display, it is more thinner on the Redmi Note 11 Pro because we have flat sides. Again, and the flat sides is inspired from iPhone. So now let's see apps opening speed. Everything's closed up in the background and you can see no application is running in the background. Also, we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Now let's quickly open the phone dialer more faster on the poco f3 so next on the list is the settings again more faster on the poco f3 and you can see we have miui version 12.5 versus the miui version 13. so now let's go to the display and let me show you the refresh rate both phones has a 120 hertz refresh rate that's really good thing so now let's check out some more application now let's start off with the amazon shopping with same wi-fi network and the Poco F3 later more faster there and you can see so now let's see the scrolling and that is feels really really smooth on both phones no issue whatsoever and the 120 Hertz it is really optimized on both phones now let's open this also very similar so now let's check out some games application now let's see that how is the Snapdragon 870 a stack up against the MediaTek Helio G96 which is a mid-range level chipset while the Snapdragon 870 is a flagship level chipset. Now let's quickly open the Candy Crush Saga. Candy Crush is way faster on the Poco and you can see also we had dual speakers. So here's the Poco F3 looks like with the max volume. And here is the Redmi Note Lampo looks like with the max volume. And it seems like in the speakers it is a little bit more louder on the Redmi Note 11 Pro if I'm not wrong. Again, you guys are the judge of the speed test. Now let's open Instagram faster on the Poco. Now let's opening up Pinout. Pinout also faster on the Poco F3 and you can see and the Snapdragon 870 is showing its, its performance against the attack Helio G96. Now let's open Snapchat again faster on the Poco. Now let's quickly open the Spotify that is very similar now let's quickly open the subway surfer and the subway surfer is again way faster on the poco f3 and you can see about four or five second difference there 
now let's quickly open the temper and two and temper and two is faster on the poco or on the redmi let's see at the end again we have we have this poco f3 is faster despite having a downloading thing on both phones poco is done and the redmi now it is also done about four or five second difference there so now let's quickly open the pubg mobile and the pubg is open up more faster on the poco again we have qualcomm snapdragon 870 which is a flagship level chipset versus a mediatek helio g96 poco f3 is way way faster and you can see also we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate and the extreme frame rate also available the balance hd hdr while on the redmi note 11 pro we only have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate ultra frame rate is only available the balance graphics now let's quickly opening up the tutor twitter is a little more faster on the poco now let's quickly open zedge and zedge is a little more faster on the poco so now let's see the scrolling again and really really smooth in the start i see little bit lag on the redmi if i'm not wrong while on the poco i didn't see any lag so last time i'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see who is going to be the fastest one and the poco is more faster as compared to the redmi again we have 48 megapixel main camera versus a 108 megapixel main camera so now let's look at the front camera on both phones so here's the front camera looks like on both phones on the poco f3 we have 20 megapixel selfie camera while on the redmi we have 16 megapixel and the front camera looks more sharper on the redmi note 11 pro okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed i am seeing to follow google chrome on both phones also we have same wi-fi network now let's quickly open wikipedia.org with same wi-fi network and the poco f3 little more faster there now let's see the scrolling and that is face very smooth on both phones both phones has a 120 hertz refresh rate now let's open this english little more faster on the poco this time let's see the scrolling very very smooth on both phones no issue whatsoever next on the list is the apple.com and apple.com is faster on the redmi note 11 pro this time so that's really interesting now let's see the scrolling again very very smooth on both phones no issue whatsoever the scrolling wise now check out ram management on both phones and both phones has a 8 gp of ram and both phones also has a extended ram feature let's see who is performed good in the ram management phone dialer refresh on the redmi now let's open settings no refresh amazon shopping refresh on the redmi let's open candy crush saga that is not refresh instagram no refresh now let's open up pin out no refresh now let's open snapchat no refresh now let's open spotify same result subway suffer same result opening up temper and two same result now let's quickly open pubg mobile also not refresh so the ram measurement it is also really solid on the redmi note 11 pro not as good as in my previous speed test now let's opening up the tutor that is refresh on the redmi now let's open zedge no refresh and last we're back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the poco f3 is performing more faster in system based application as well as in game app in time which is obvious because we have a more powerful qualcomm snapdragon 870 processor which showing its performance in the speed test in terms of the RAM wise and the POCO also really good in the RAM management not a single refresh on the POCO while on the Redmi we have a lot of refresh also now let's talk about the battery sizes on the POCO F3 we have 4500 mAh battery size with a 33 watt fast charging while on the Redmi Note 11 Pro we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Redmi Note 11 Pro versus the POCO F3 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out